Hello and welcome back to the Whammy Cast, everyone. I am A, and this is the Amnesia Walkthrough. Alright, so uh, previously we went through the uh, wine cellar and heard a bunch of drunk guys um, get uh, killed. And uh, some guy said, Accept it, we're not getting out of here alive. Alright, the next part is absolutely terrifying. Because, well, you'll find out. Put away the lantern, crouch, stay in the darkness. I know that sounds crazy, but just do it. Okay, hear that growling? Uh huh. There's a monster over there, see it? Don't look at it for too long, or your sanity will drain and you'll eventually be seen. But, we actually have to walk th uh, toward it because it's not gonna leave until we do so. So, just walk toward it slowly, stay in the shadows, and avoid the light at all cost. See? It's gone. That wasn't so hard, was it? There's some random stuff that falls down there. Don't know why. Alright, my sanity is now dangerously low. I need to make sure to stay in the light and try to make progress. I'm doing the best I can. Game hints. Alright, so... Yeah, I thought I saw a tinderbox there. Eh? So grab that. Close the door. I always like to close the doors. It brings me great comfort. Okay. I think there's some things that happen in here. Tinderbox down there. Grab that. There's another place in the game that looks like this wine cellar, which is why I'm kind of I'm kind of getting the the uh, two parts kind of confused a little bit. But over there, there's another chemical. I want to grab that. And I've solved puzzle, so my sanity is now crystal clear. Thank God, I needed that. So, it looks like we have all four chemicals, so now we go to the thinking lab! You know what to do! Sit down in a thinking chair and think! 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 Cause when we use our minds, take a step at a time, we can do anything that we wanna do. So now go back to the entrance hall. Go into dang it. Go into the lab. It's gonna punch me. Don't punch me. Dang it. It punched me. Ow. I really dislike that stuff. That's the worst monster in the entire game, is that right there. So unavoidable unavoidable. Inavoidable? Unavoidable? Never mind. Okay, so now this is the library. It's the room uh, directly across from the wine cellar. Kind of light this place up. Uh, Tinder box is looking good. Oil is looking pretty good as well. Okay. So grab that oil down there. Listen to the monstrous shadow that's trying to kill us. Hmm. Okay. So this is the room we want. Flashback. There should be more coop rats. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. There's a tinder box in here. Grab it. Okay. Um. You know. That guy who plays Alexander sounds a lot like Kessler from Infamous. <laughs> I think it actually might be. I'll have to look that up later. Now, sometimes you'll find these things. I don't really take the time to read these, but if you want to read them, pause your video right about now. Okay. So, um, I move over here. I believe I picked up that chemistry pot, and you should have too. Alright, so double click click the chemistry pot and click on it right there, and I'll place it there. Now, 
what uh, you're going to want to do is put all the chemicals here. Um, I'm going to light this candle so I don't waste more oil. Oil is more valuable than uh, uh, tinder boxes. The oil is the best fuel source you can have. More earthquakes! Now, uh, it doesn't matter what order you put these in, because it'll automatically put it in... Put it in? It'll automatically put them in the right... Um, in this in the right flask so turn this that'll turn on the burners now to turn the wheels just hold and spin your mouse in a circular motion like that oh my gosh that's what the hint says I'm good I'm good at this all right and once you've spun all four of them it will put acid in that uh, in that chemistry pot and we're gonna use this acid to burn down the uh, um, the wall of goop that uh, prevents us from going down the entrance hall. So now, put this here. Once you get close enough, it'll eventually just put it there for you. You know, although this is really uh, supposed to be a survival horror game, it's also got a lot of. Uh, it's also kind of like a puzzler and um, find the hidden objects type game. It's pretty much all it is with some horror stuff added, like this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow, I didn't actually get punched that time? Whoa. Okay. So get down here, and um, open the door, obviously. Double click the acid, and left click on the goop to make it burn. Now go down to the refinery. This is the place that kind of looks like the, um, the, uh, wine cellar, actually. I'll prove, I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it. I got proof. Alright, it doesn't look like it quite yet, but it will. Trust me, just bear with me. It sure is dark in here. Oh. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now, if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness. That is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Okay, um. It is a good thing it's dark in here because we'll need that darkness for cover. There's a monster that walks right over there, see it? Yep. Hide right here. Uh, don't stare at it for too long. Okay, so it looks like he's gone for now. So it is safe to go over here. Now, coming up right now is actually the part that looks a bit like the wine cellar. I'm gonna prove it. You're about to see it. I promise you guys. I promise. I promise. See, there! See? Doesn't this look like the wine cellar? Told you. I told you. Alright. You're gonna wanna go this way. Um, pick that up. What? Can you at least knock? 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I don't know, Daniel. Was there? Okay. Open that. Um, there's some stuff over here, just so you know. I mean, like, bad stuff over here that's gonna happen. What is this place? It's Castle Brandenburg, dude. 
sure there were. Oh, oh well, doesn't matter. There's not any. Oh, yep, there it is. There's so many shelves. It's hard to keep them all straight. Twenty fifth of June, eighteen thirty nine. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Why is he being terrified? Oh gosh. Anyway, why would you be terrified? I think it'd be pretty awesome to have something that changes autom by on its own. If it's like stone or something, it's not supposed to do that. That'd be cool. I love that. Okay, so now see all these boxes right here? Move these. And when you do, there's a little... There's a hole in the wall right here that you can crawl through. I'm trying to do this, but my sanity has changed my... Uh, my camera a bit, so it's a bit... Uh, it's not as sensitive as it is as it was before. Ah, sanity is. Ah, uh, this is what happens if your sanity gets low enough. Is you'll like fall on the floor and start to crawl, and the you'll hear a ringing. There. Needs a few drops of oil. There we go. All right, refill the lantern with a few drops of oil. Oh, goody gum drops. So, yeah, my sanity's improving, but I've seen better. So, grab that tinder box over there. There it is. I was wondering where that one. Grab these two. Grab this box. See that peg up there? Do that. Now go over to this wooden crank and do the same thing you did with the uh, wheels in the laboratory, the circular motion. Okay, scariest part, well, one of the scariest parts of the game is coming up pretty quickly. Don't punch me! Don't punch me! Okay, good. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Alright, the next part's kind of long, takes a while, and I would prefer not to end the video in the midst of that, so. Uh, in addition, I uh, kind of got a late start on the timer, so I think I'll end this video right here and right now. So, thanks for watching! See you in the next part if you're going to watch it. I hope this helped. Um, if not, you can look up another walkthrough just as long as you find out what you need to find out. Or if you're just investigating the game and hoping to buy it sometime, then that's fine too. But either way, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.